Hello, today I'm going to show you how to add materials to your track that you created with my plugin for 3ds Max. Um, we'll start off with creating some materials that we'll be using. So you can press M and it will bring up the material editor. Now this might look a little bit different from um, on your screen than it does in mine. Uh, just make sure that you're in the compact material editor. So go into modes, select compact, and the number of slots you'll see, you can adjust that by right clicking somewhere and then just change the number of slots or sample windows. Um, so just a quick explanation about how this works. These are all materials that you can put on to your track. Right here you can adjust the name. This will also be shown in No Limits. So this could come in handy if you want to create your own materials in No Limits and add them to your track. And this is the type of material. Now, uh, to, show what, uh, to show you guys what I'll be doing, I'm going to create a sample material. Uh, I want it to be standard material because that works best for exporting for um, games and stuff. And I'll just add a checker for now. Make sure you show shaded materials in viewport or else you won't be able to see anything. Now you can just drag and drop this onto your rails. And as you can see, the track just became white. And that's because the track doesn't have um, mapping coordinates yet. So we're going to add those. So select one of your rails. And for this to work properly, we're going to have to convert this to an editable poly. Uh, to do this, go into the modifier list and add the edit poly. And if you're working with really large pieces of track, I recommend to right click this and then collapse two to um, remove to collapse all of the uh, modifiers into one. Um, next, we'll we'll be adding some uh, mapping coordinates by adding another modifier. Uh, we're going to add the UVW map. And as you can see, you're, you're already able to see the um, texture on your rails, but it doesn't look right uh, in this spot especially. So we're going to modify this a little bit. For the first step, we'll want to uncheck real world map size and put the mapping on face. What this does is it'll add the texture, namely the checker pattern, to every single polygon on our rails. And that's just for starts. So next up, we'll add another modifier, namely the UVW unwrap, or unwrap UVW. Um, Click this little triangle and go into Edge Edit Mode and select one of the edges that's perpendicular to the length of the rail, like for instance this one. Just don't check the, um, the one on the edge of the rails, but one in the middle or something. Then right here click this icon. And as you can see, this will um, wrap the texture all around our rail. And this is basically how this works. So now let's actually put a, um, a texture, a rail texture on this uh, rail. So I prepared one right here. You can just drag and drop this onto one of the slots and it will be in your material editor.
Now you can drag it onto the rail. And as you can see, it's um, it doesn't look especially right. So we're gonna manipulate the coordinates for the mapping. To do that, we'll be adding another uh, mapping modifier, namely the UVV X form. And with this, we can, within the mapping coordinates that are already there, we can manipulate them further and refine them. So, first thing, what, what you'll notice is that the map is at a 90 degree angle from what we want it to. So, to change this, we'll have to rotate this by 90 degrees. And as you can see, this already looks a lot better. But, probably, the map doesn't line up on all three sides for the wheels. So we'll have to change. Um, we'll have to change that a little bit. So we'll be tiling the map around the um, circumference of the uh, rail. Uh, let's see. I think it's the V tile. Just yeah. We can increase this. To, I think it was 2.35 and what this does is, let's see, yeah, this creates a yellow line around um, three of the four sides of the rail. But it's not on the it's on the inside of the rails and we want it on the outside. So to do that we'll have to offset the texture. Like so. And you can do this by eye to see if um, if this looks like you want it to. And that looks like that looks like how we want it to. So that's it for the rail. And uh, you can do exactly the same thing on the other rail and uh, on the backbone uh, also. And for the cross ties, there is already a UVW map included on all of my uh, um, templates. So that should be taken care of. And that's about it. Thank you for watching.